hello friends welcome to daring marana youtube channel today we will be discussing about actual pv diagram of four stroke and two stroke marana diesel engine so let's move to the topic the pressure volume diagram it is drawn by measuring pressure inside cylinder and plotting its value against angle of crankshaft over a complete engine cycle so pv diagram it is drawn by measuring the pressure inside cylinder and plotting its value against angle of crankshaft over a complete engine cycle okay let's see in the case of a PV diagram of a four stroke IC engine. Here we show the diagram of a four stroke IC engine. We can we know that there will be seen the PV diagram. So let's see what are the basics. So here number one there will be inlet valve open. Number two there will be suction stroke during one to two. Then two here it is written this IPC that is inlet valve closes. Then from those three then then we can say two to three there will be compression stroke. Compression will be happening. Then from the three to four then there will be power stroke maximum p max so means there will be power power stroke so p will be known as from the three we will start the injection so uh, from just it reaches it reaches before it reaches tdc we will start the injection and then by four the injection will be ends then four to five is known as expansion stroke so expansion stroke means it it will expand that means power stroke also we, we used to call then four means injection ends then five means here exhaust valve opens and six means Five to six means exhaust valve stroke. Okay, so these are the basic strokes that what is happening in the figure of for actual PV diagram of a four stroke IC engine. So let's discuss it in details. So, so basic what is happening is during one to two induction stroke. So induction stroke means air is drawn to cylinder at the pressure existing in the intake manifold, and the intake valve closes after end of the stroke. So during the induction stroke means or suction stroke means air is drawn to cylinder. So it is a certain pressure existing that is inside what is inside the intake manifold then intake valve closes after the end of the stroke okay this is what happening in the induction stroke and the compression means with both inlet and exhaust valve it's closed then air is compressed by a piston in the clearance space so towards a few degree before tdc the injection of fuel will begin then this fuel is ignited by the high temperature because of that we know that it will reach us to 40 to 60 bar pressure during this time uh, that means that and the temperature is 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. So because of this, the fuel will ignite and produce at the end of compression. Most of the heat is released at a constant volume. So it is this is what happened during the two to three. That is compression stroke. The three to four. That means expansion or working stroke. Here the expansion or working stroke means the gas expands until at the end of stroke when the exhaust valve open and the exhaust is blown down in exhaust pipe and the pressure cylinder drops. That means three to four expansion. So here the term it is firing. So we did expand and working stroke. So the gas will expand until the end of the stroke and the exhaust valve will open towards the end. And the exhaust is blown down in exhaust pipe and the pressure in the cylinder automatically drop. So this is the worst scenario. That means induction stroke, compression stroke, expansion stroke, and one more is the exhaust stroke. Exhaust stroke means the remaining gas cylinder are forced out to displacement of the piston by the overall stroke. So this is what happened in the exhaust stroke. That means remaining gas cylinder are forced out by the displacement of piston exceeding over the full stroke. So the three means induction stroke means during this time air is drawn to cylinder and pressure existing in the cylinder will, will take into intake manifold then inlet inlet valve will close after end of stroke. And the compression stroke means with both inlet and exhaust closes the uh, piston will compress the air. So the injection fuel in, uh, injection in, if air will get compressed that means from 30 to 40 bar it will get compressed temperature of 60 to 60, 660 degree Celsius to 70 degree Celsius it will get increased and towards the end of towards the before just reaching TDC we will inject the fuel and due to this high temperature the fuel will get ignited and produce the combustion most of the heat is released at this time at a constant volume this is what happened in the compression stroke and expansion of working stroke means the gas expands until at the end of stroke when exhaust valve open and exhaust is blown down in exhaust pipe and pressure cylinder drop and during 4 to 1 what happening is the remaining gas cylinder are forced to, uh, to that means we will be exhausted we will be dri driving it out for the next cycle and the piston displacement of piston extending over a full stroke so here is the part of the diagram of a four stroke PV diagram of four stroke IC engine we can see that intake open intake closes and the exhaust valve open compression stroke power stroke and all and down there will be wall timing diagram okay then working of a two stroke cycle engine differ from that of a four stroke because of the absence of two distinct strokes mainly induction and exhaust rest all same 
in the main basic difference between two stroke and four stroke lies in the between the complete absence of two distinct stroke that means of combustion and exhaust that means induction induction and exhaust these are the stroke the difference that that makes difference of the for the two stroke and four stroke then that means a part of each combustion and expansion stroke in two stroke engine it is usually by the process of combustion and expansion so here in two stroke engine the part of combustion and expansion stroke it is utilized for the process of induction and exhaust like i mentioned in two stroke engine there is no induction and exhaust as compared to four stroke engine so in two stroke they use they have only combustion and expansion stroke so in two stroke engine these two stroke are utilized in the sense of induction and exhaust so with reference to the integrated diagram we can say that a cylinder is filled up with a charge of fresh air from an external source we can consider it as a reservoir at the beginning of combustion then air is admitted as soon as the pores are uncovered by piston then the air is combusted and cycle follows to, uh, then towards the uh, near the bdc a fuel is injected and then heat is added to the mass of air should it be at top dead center at this time due to high temperature it will expand and, ex and the expansion stroke will take place and during this time exhaust is opened first and pressure drops below the air reservoir when the pressure is admitted through the port situated below the exhaust port this is what happened and this cylinder is cleaned of residual product of combustion by incoming air and cycle of operation is over repeated okay then the exhaust remains the exhaust cylinder remains simultaneously over for a short period of time to assess the completion of gas exchange process so what is here happening is in the case of two stroke engine in the with reference to the integrated diagram here that is shown with the, here reference to integrated diagram shown here the cylinder is filled up with the charge of fresh air from an external source so here cylinder is filled up with the charge of fresh air in the, from an external source at the beginning of combustion then air is admitted as soon as the port are uncovered by the piston then the air is compressed and cycle as follows so the fuel is injected towards the end of compression stroke and heat is added to the mass of air due to, from a few degree before tdc okay then the, at the end of tdc towards the end of tdc we will, uh, we will uh, put some oil so at the end of expansion stroke the exhaust is opened first and the pressure drops below the air pressure when the fresh air and is admitted through this port below the exhaust port okay the cylinder is cleaned of the residual product of combustion by incoming air and cycle of operation is repeated okay the exhaust in inlet remains simultaneously open for a short period of time to assess the completion of gas exchange process so this is what happening in the case of a pv diagram of a two stroke cycle engine so here are some of the process that we can say from the zero we can scavenge port open zero to one air sucked in and pushes out the left hour of exhaust gas number one we can say it is a piston that means it is when it is a pdc bdc and one two two means completion of scavenging and filling of fresh air that is scavenging and filling of fresh air then two means scavenge port will close then two to three means combustion stroke so when it reaches three means it will reach the exhaust valve will close then three to four means combustion stroke continues so then four means fuel injection start combustion stroke means that means combustion stroke will continue then four means fuel injection start then five piston it is at tdc top dead center then we will inject the fuel that is at the point six then six to seven then after the injection of fuel it will get expand and expansion takes place so this expansion six to seven there will be expansion stroke then seven there will be exhaust valve open then seven to zero means blow down of exhaust gas will happen this is what happening in the case of a fuel diagram of a four stroke and two stroke cycle engine thank you